Guten Tag everyone, Tinek here, and that's all the German I really know. Uh, welcome to a new game of OpenTTD. We are going with a German theme this time. So you can see the map laid out before me here with various German sounding names that I am going to murder the pronunciation of. Um, I do like some of them, like It's a Ho, you know, because it's a ho. Never mind, fine, it's it's fine, whatever. Uh, we also have Hornberg, you know, that's that's another good one. Uh, bad Sasha, <clears throat> excuse me, as opposed to Good Sasha. I don't know where Good Sasha is, she's uh, she's naffed off somewhere. Uh, and we also had another one around somewhere. Heh, <laughs> Hamburg, like Hamburger, only, you know, a real world town. Uh, I believe these are actually all real world town names are from the north of Germany. I think I set that up. Uh, yes, German North. So these are all, I believe, real towns in northern Germany. Uh, now, let's get the uh, housekeeping out of the way. New GRFs that we are using. You can ignore this side here. This is all just fluff that I've got in the folder. Uh, so we will be using the DB set. Uh, unfortunately, that only starts in 1921. So unfortunately, yeah, this is only going to be a short game, probably 1921 to 2021 or as in the case of the large game, when everything just goes tits up and I can't be bothered fixing it. So we'll say 1931 then. Uh, you know, obviously we've got the new stations back again, the marine objects, the industrial stations renewal. Uh, we've got the early road vehicles back again. Uh, I can't remember if I was using version 2.0 last time. I don't know, it worked, it was a good set. Uh, we've brought AV-8 aviators aircraft set back again because we all know how much success I had with planes last time. <clears throat> yes, no, hmm, let's not talk about that. Uh, obviously, the squid fish ship, the, the, the squid ship set is back. God, that's a mouthful. Uh, town and industry UK houses are in, but the uh, Pika's base industries are not. So these are just the houses. Uh, new ships is in. That's a partner set to the DB set. But, well, we didn't use it last time. I'm hoping we use some of them this time. Uh, we've kept the fine scale standard gauge rail just because I think it scales better with the trains than the default transport tycoon rails. Obviously the German town names to provide the German town names. Uh, that one should go without saying. Uh, we've got some fancy German signals in. I, I had a bit of a test of these. I'm not sure if I love them, but they're German. So, you know, I mean, you'll, you'll have a look at them soon. The, the path electric signals look really cool. But the normal electric signals look a bit boring. Uh, we've got the Dutch catenary back again because that's just nicer than the base stuff. Uh, total town replacement set. And I finally figured out, and look at this, I'm really proud of this. We'll just close the map for a second. Uh, is there a town with a bridge around here somewhere? Probably not. I think there was one down this point of the map. Yes, here we are. Yes, I finally figured out how to get the roads to line up. Admittedly, it's only using the modern roads, but you know what? I'm just... It's better than using the default transport tycoon roads or using the default transport tycoon bridges. Either way, that's a bit of a travesty. Uh, of course, the map has shrunk again. Yeah, let's just yeah, we'll bring that back again over here. Uh, so again, we've gone with a mountainous uh, sort of you know, terrain here. We've put the sea level down slightly so that we don't have any islands, uh, although we do have an island over here, but a couple of convenient bridging points, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but we still have the opportunity to use ferries in certain locations, uh, probably not so much up here, down here maybe. Uh, and of course we have this giant lake in the middle of the map which I'm really wrapped with. Uh, now as far as industries go, we've got quite a few dotted around. Uh, as we're not using an industry set for this one because the DB set uh, doesn't really support them. There are extension GRFs that, that do ostensibly offer support, but I haven't had much success with them. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, so that means all of our coal will be going to power stations, our iron ore will all go into steel mills, uh, forests go to sawmills and then turn that into goods, uh, and food from the farm, so the livestock and grain wants to go to a factory, not a food processing plant. So we're sort of going back to back to basic transport tycoon industries here. So unfortunately, it means we've lost the fancy graphics uh, from the PBI set, which is really disappointing. But I just don't have any way to transport lumber or fuel oil or anything introduced in that set. So I'm going to have to do without it. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, we're back to the basic. Uh, coal mine there. I can't remember what other graphics the 
PBI set actually changes for the default industries. But uh, yeah, so we've lost all of our nice industries like the brewery, the food processing plant, the brickworks, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, that's that's going to start us off there. So uh, I'm going to have a bit of a look at the map here, uh, look at the industries we have available, and see if I can find us somewhere to start. And I'll be right back. Well, through the magic of editing, you've only been gone for, what, two seconds between those two clips? But it's actually been a couple of days. So no, it didn't take me that long to find somewhere to start, I promise. But here we are. We are outside uh, Utisen. U Uetis, I told you I'm going to butcher these names. It's better than the one over here. I just had a look at that. That is the Dissen um, Tutoburger Walled City. Mm, burger. Delicious. Uh, yes, so we are outside, yeah, as I said, that town. And look, we've got a couple of iron ore mines, got a couple of steel mills, we've got a nice factory, nice centrally located factory, nice flat land around there, plenty of room for uh, trains. And ooh, look, my mouse is doing weird things if I move it too quickly. That's exciting. Uh, but yeah, we've also got this handy little coal mine and power station pairing down here. So I figure that's where we can start off by bringing the money in. And then while that's turning a profit, we can then look to getting these three industries here connected and then possibly even up here. I mean, we could also look to doing the coal up here to, to set the groundwork for an iron ore line going this way. But let's not get too complicated, too simple. Currently, we have an income of zero. We need to change that. Uh, so let's just zoom on in. Look, that, nope, that's too much. Okay, let's just zoom on out again. Uh, so you will notice again, because we're not using the, uh, the PBI industry set, the Pika Base Industries, we are stuck with the generic basic coal mine, which I mean, it's not ugly, but it's, it's not as pretty as, as what we're used to. Uh, so obviously we're going to be starting off with a coal loading mine site thingy. We'll unpause the game so we can actually build stuff. And uh, we'll just go with a little short station for now. Let's pop it over that side so it looks like it actually connects up to the coal mine. And then obviously we'll be just running a, a cheeky little bit of track down this way here. Uh, I want to keep it nice and simple, nice and easy, because, yeah, we just need to get that money coming in to, to get us started. Uh, let's go with the viaduct for starters, because, well, we're probably not going to need too big of a station uh, and too fast of a train at this stage. So we'll stick with the unloader there, connect this up here. We'll need to throw down a couple of buffer stops. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop one of those down there. And, uh, and we'll drop a more rural one up here at the mine. Uh, now we're gonna need a depot somewhere. And I wanna keep the depot reasonably central. Uh, however, at this stage, we haven't connected up any other lines yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one down here on this line. And the red color does not really suit the depot at all, does it? Uh, so we've only got one choice of locomotive because it is 1921 and this version of the DB set starts in 1921. Uh, so we've got the BR92, just a, a little tank engine here. And then we'll go for, that's too many, we'll go for just a nice short train here. Uh, load him up with coal and send him on his way. Business as usual. And obviously you belong to that depot there. Off you go. Toot toot. Come on. Huzzah, off he goes. He is now underway and we'll start making us some coin. Uh, now that unfortunately took up almost half of our money. So yeah, we will be we will be having to take a loan out for the next stage of the business here. Uh, obviously we're gonna be running iron ore up to this steel mill, probably this steel mill just for the extra distance, a little bit of extra income. And then in the same line, we can bring the steel back here to the factory. And that will really be the start of our, our network that encompasses this entire section of the map. Uh, I want to get a big steel empire going. Uh, without the production limits of PBI, uh, obviously we are just sending iron ore here. And we can send as much iron ore as we want in and get as much steel as we want. So I really want to make this sort of an industrial heartland. Uh, and this can be some sort of canned good goods factory, I guess, because we can transport livestock, grain and steel. And of course, we've got a handy dandy farm up there. So, you know, we've, we've got a lot of ingredients in play. Uh, but first of all, we want to make sure we get a train line going to both those industries, the steel mill and the factory, to make sure they don't go closing down on us. Uh, so we want industry yeah, stations here. Uh, let's plan for the future for this one because I reckon this is going to be a line that, okay, it's only 80 tons, but I'm reckoning this will be a line that we stick with for a little while. 
And look at that, we can build it in a dead straight line. That is just fantastic. Uh, over here at the steel mill, obviously we are gonna need some sort of steel station. No, not the steel mill, sorry, the factory. Well, we will need a steel station. Oh, high security station, that sounds fancy. I'm assuming that is because that is for valuables transport. Uh, I don't know what makes it so secure. Maybe that's a special forklift. Uh, so we'll just want a, a generic good station down here. So do we want to go to the freight station? It's got a fancy little building. Uh, or do we want to go more generic? We'll go more generic. It's a bit, a bit rural out here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and drop that in there in Utterson Woods. And then we'll, we'll also connect that up at the same time. Uh, so bring a bit of track down there. Uh, obviously bring a bit down there. Uh, I say obviously. Well, it's not obvious, but we've done it. Uh, put a bit of track in here, make it look neat and tidy. And then we'll whack our first passing loop in here because obviously this is where we're gonna have our first two trains meeting. Uh, so no, don't select the colored light signal just yet. And it does appear as if, yes, I've got drive on right selected, which is good because the signals will appear on the correct side. Uh, obviously that is the opposite side to what we're used to. So yeah, that's gonna take a bit of getting used to, the fact that we've got the signals on the opposite side and the train's going down the opposite track, but I'm sure we'll get used to it eventually. And if we don't, you can just laugh at the chaos that results, because I know you do anyway, because chaos is inevitable. Uh, now up here, we're gonna need a double track station. And basically, as I, uh, I probably mentioned in the last series, rule of thumb is you want to have at least one more platform than you do trains trying to load there. So in this case, we're gonna have one steel train. So therefore we need a minimum of two platforms up here at the steel mill, because we're always gonna have one iron ore train needing to unload at any given time. So it's fine if we have five steel trains all queued up, as long as we have one platform for iron ore trains to unload and thus generate the steel. Otherwise you just lock yourself out of your own station because the steel trains all fill up the station and the iron ore train can't actually unload, which is super disappointing, mostly because you just don't make any money. Uh, the alternative is you have a separate station for the unloading of iron ore, which we might look at in the future because we do have plenty of land around here. I mean, I always try and set the maps to be nice and hilly, but somehow we've had all our industries land in very flat areas. Look, I mean, it's a good thing considering we're only a very young company and we're, we're you know, still getting the grips with things, but it does reduce some of the challenge in the game, I find. Uh, now, we probably want to have another passing loop at this end, uh, just so our trains can, can meet each other. And then planning for the inevitable double track, we'll actually remember to build it on the correct side. I know there's a first for everything. Uh, so let's see, if we're keeping to the right, yes, we've done that correctly. Oh, that's a first. And then we'll drop another couple of signals in here. And I can't actually see them, so let's make the station disappear. Uh, and let's make the steel mill disappear. Yes, they're both on the correct side. That was a, that was a long way to go to get to that, that destination, wasn't it? Uh, so we've made our first bit of profit from our coal train by the looks of it. He has made us 17,000 Deutschmarks. Uh, I think the game's conversion is four Deutschmarks to one pound. So let's see, what, what's our maximum loan? 400 grand, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, so that's normally a 100,000 pounds. So yeah, I'd say that's that's pretty accurate. So 17,000, oh God, don't make me do maths. Um, that's what, like three, 4,000 pounds. So not big money initially. I mean, it looks big money, but yeah. But yeah, we're, we're, we're off to a good start here, 335 tons of coal. Uh, which of course will affect our rating. Wow, that's that's a pretty good coal mine. Uh, but it might mean we have an opportunity to put a second coal train on, or once we get better rolling stock, make that a longer, heavier coal train. And good to know that livestock production at Itzehoe Farm has increased 10%. That's, that's I was really on the edge of my seat for that one. Uh, so down here again, we'll go the, the BR92. Uh, now I'm just gonna start off with a short train for this one, because again, I'm not sure how he's gonna handle the hill, and I don't particularly want to go over to double heading uh, at this early stage of the game, but obviously this will be a good candidate for heavier freight locomotives uh, as we move towards the future. So let's go with iron ore, yeah, it actually costs money to refit these wagons, so that's something we have to keep in mind. Uh, so we'll send him on his way. Yes, off you go, little fella. 
Yeah, you're a good boy. And we'll also grab one to haul the steel. Now that, that, that open wagon can carry steel. So that's good. So we'll refit that for steel. Again, another 3.5 thousand Deutschmarks. Uh, you, sir, can full load up at the steel mill and just run that down to the factory for me, please. That would be super duper. Super, super duper. Uh, now, I'm not sure why we've got the modern depots. I think that's the depot that comes with the rail set. I think the older depot uh, might come with the come with the UK train set. Uh, unless the fact that this gets introduced in 1920 and I just didn't realise it. So, yeah. Either way, that's the depot we have. And I think it looks quite fetching, except for the exceptionally red walls. And that's obviously uh, our company colour there. Uh, now, another thing we need to do is connect this old iron ore mine up to our, uh, our new network here. So somehow I'm going to have to squeeze a junction in here. Yep, lots of planning. Yep, we've already, we've already buggered it up. So why don't we just move this signal from here and then have the line sort of branch off here. That, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, it'll be made to work. If it, if it doesn't want to work, well, that's just tough titties. Uh, so I'll bring this up here. And then obviously we'll put in a bridge over the river here because we've run out of money. Well, that was, that was always inevitable, wasn't it? Uh, so we'll go ahead and just extend our loan up by 200,000, which is what, 50,000 Deutschmarks? Uh, 50,000 pounds rather, which is sort of the, the benchmark we were using initially. Uh, now we're gonna have to sneak our way back down to the valley. I don't know why we're sneaking, but we just are. And then we need to connect up this iron ore mine. So we'll go stations and diddly diddly d. We need a nice fancy iron ore station here. And again, planning for the future, we'll build a slightly bigger station than we actually need, just because eventually we will need it. Uh, as we get more powerful locos, we're obviously gonna be transporting a lot of iron ore out of here. And uh, yeah, we, we really wanna see a return on that as quickly as possible. Uh, so again, we'll go to 92. And then we'll go for, yeah, five wagons should be enough for now. I think I think that's about all he can haul, uh, especially when he hits the hills. And we don't want him stalling on the hill. And of course, it doesn't matter that we have three trains and two platforms here because only one steel train is actually loading. Uh, so that's good. Look, eventually we might move away from this factory just because of its proximity to the steel mill. Uh, as we get more money, we might look at transporting the steel sort of over to this factory, for example, because we've also got the iron ore coming out of there, uh, which will be very good for the bottom line. Uh, so that's got our network started. We've got our first iron ore train. He's now on the move. Uh, our coal train is making good money just shuffling back and forth. He is already up to 35 grand. And that's important because I have turned infrastructure costs back on. Uh, just because the DB set is an older set, its, uh, it's difficulty level has not been set as high. Uh, which is probably one of the reasons I enjoy it, because I can just build lots of trains and watch them chuff around the network, and I go wee and clap my hands, and you know, I'm just like a kid in a candy store. Uh, so obviously the next thing we need to do is connect up our factory to our farm. And of course I said factory and clicked on the farm and said farm and clicked on the factory, because apparently I can't tell the difference. I don't know. I, I, I don't don't even know what day of the week it is. Uh, yesterday I thought it was Wednesday, it was actually Tuesday, so I managed to show up late for work. Professional. Uh, good, so what I'd like to do is expand this station out by a few tracks, bring the steel train into one of these tracks, and then bring the farm trains in here, and we'll have a, a sort of a Y junction here. Uh, and when I say Y junction, I mean, why didn't I build it properly in the first place? I have no answer for that. What type of good station is this? This is a low good station. So let's go three, uh, yeah, three by five. And uh, actually, no, let's, let's just, let's build something a bit fancier here. We'll go two by five there. And then we'll go to fixtures and see what we've got here. We've got some fancy cranes and we've also got this crawler crane. Who doesn't like a fancy crane? Uh, now, can I get something in the way of a large crane there? No, that comes with railway track. Okay, can we go with one without railway track? There we go. Okay, this is this is good. I'm liking this. Uh, and then what else can we build? Don't really have much there. Let's have a look at process products. Um, yeah, it's probably a bit too early for containers. That's why that's grayed out. We can put some just generic piles of goods down. Uh, we can do that. Well, obviously, nothing's there now. But when we eventually have goods loading there, it'll it'll start to look the business. 
Uh, and then what are we looking for? No, nope, that's that's general. We've gone too far. We want uh, stations again. And then we want to go for another good station low. Uh, we'll go one by five. Drop him down there. And then, of course, we'll need a buffer stop there. And good, iron ore has already increased production. Uh, that's probably a reaction to the fact that we've started transporting iron ore out of there. I'm not 100% sure. I think that's how it works. Uh, we can now connect this bit of track up here. We can now throw a signal down here for the steel train. And that means we can now disconnect this bit of track here because, well, the steel train now has his own little platform to come into. Uh, so yes, again, we can, we can then come back down to this idea of a Y junction. And as I said, why didn't we build it this way to begin with, given that was always gonna be my plan. Uh, obviously we'll have to move this signal here, but we'll wait for this chap to tr transit through it. Just, it's a good habit to get into just to avoid any uh, sort of argy bargy between trains. As we saw in the last series, that results in a giant fiery explosion. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, so here we go, we got the first iron ore train coming back. Uh, our steel train unfortunately has not got a full load out of that, but he will once the second train unloads. We've managed to time that cross perfectly. Yep, could not have planned that any better if I had tried. Uh, and we've already got the BR-75 available, so yes, I would like to try all that, please. That's gonna be a fantastic addition to the network, uh, to the point that we can probably retire some of the BR-92s already. Yeah, I know, they're like a year old. Uh, now, what was I doing? I was setting up this, this junction here. Uh, now, we may need to move the depot for this, because, let's see, no, I guess I can get to the farm out that way. It's just when they come back in here, they can't transit straight into the depot. So what I might do is just set up another little junction. That looks hideous. I really don't like that. What if we, ah, there we go. That's that's much better. Just in case we need to send them to the depot from the factory. Uh, we're also a set of buffers short. So we should probably, probably get that going. And then let's just put a bit of a fence in there. Uh, make it look make it look a bit better. Probably, probably should have a fence all the way around, but yeah, don't want to really spend too much money on eye candy at this point in time because, well, that's money we could be better spent building trains with. Uh, so now I'm going to send the branch down here. Uh, that'll also bring us straight into town. Uh, now, how does this town feel about accepting goods? Uh, oh, they do accept goods. Okay, so we could even, in theory, have a goods train coming out of here and running up into Utterson uh, as well just to really get that early money rolling. Uh, how about Hamburg? How do you feel about goods? You feel good? You feel good about goods? Hemnor feels good about goods? Uh, what about Utterson? I think we've already, we literally just looked at that because that's next to the farm, you dummy. Uh, although Disson and whatever that town's called, the Burger Town, they're not as much of a fan of the goods. So, you know, more power to them. Uh, so, yeah, look, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Don't get ahead of yourself, Teenick. God knows you've done that enough before and you've sent the company into rack and ruin multiple times. Uh, so we're looking for we're looking for a more rural station up here. So we'll go with the, the more grassy uh, buffer stop here and we'll need two platforms up here. Now, freight stations, uh, what are we looking for? We are looking for some sort of farm station. So we've got the grain loading station. Uh, we'll go one by five for that one. And then we'll go a, a livestock platform here and Murphy's Law will tell you that you can better believe you can better believe you better believe the grain train will inevitably load here and the livestock train will inevitably load here just because that's how things seem to go for me uh, signals we need to put in signals to make sure our trains don't bump into each other that is a very important step uh, now just eyeballing that that should be in line and it is Oh, that was a pleasant surprise. And then I might actually end up double tracking this section here just because we're having three, potentially four trains and then more obviously as we increase output from this iron ore mine. So it's now probably a good time to start double tracking. Uh, of course, the depot is going to get in the way of the junction. So we're going to have to move the depot already. That didn't take long. Uh, so to start with, we'll go ahead and scooch this signal up. Uh, we'll drop a new depot down here. We'll run out of money, then we'll drop a new depot down. Out there, there we go, that's what we needed to do. Uh, so we wanna have the track all set up for that depot. 
and then we need to make sure we swap all the train orders over. And you've managed to break down because I have turned breakdowns back on just to try and offset the, uh, the lack of difficulty in this set as opposed to the UK rail set. Uh, so you transfer over to the new depot. I uh, will transfer you over to the new depot. And then we'll transfer you over to the new depot. Huzzah. And that means we can get rid of the old one. Boop, gone skis. And then we'll just get rid of all the associated track with it because, well, it's, otherwise it's just going to look like a bit of a mess, isn't it? Uh, so we can get rid of this bit of track here. No, we can't. We can move that junction there, though. That's, that's somewhat more useful. Uh, now, how are we going to do this? Because we could have both the tracks come down here, but then we'll end up with a bit of a bottleneck here. Uh, so I might actually divert him around the back of the depot. Uh, so we'll get rid of this signal up here. And we'll just go ahead and extend that track out like that. There we go. So this way we can sort of bypass the area immediately in front of the depot uh, for the iron ore trains. So that way if they're not using this, this sort of bit of track here, they're not congesting it. So the loaded ones can just come around the back and just queue up at this signal here. Uh, so that's probably going to be a bit of a bit of a help there. Uh, now we don't need a set of points going the other way because obviously we've got the one-way track going. Uh, so let's just build another bridge over here and then just connect this junction up like this. And then obviously we'll need to, uh, actually we can just connect that straight through there. Good stuff. Uh, so now that, let's see, drive on the right. There we go, got it in one. Uh, put that signal there. Uh, we've got another signal up there, that's fine. The steel train unfortunately is waiting for this bloke because he's technically on the wrong track. But that's okay, everything, everything will sort itself out eventually. Uh, everyone will figure out where they need to go. And we should probably put down some uh, automatic signals on this section here. Just to, whoop, no, 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 you got it around the wrong way. There you go, now you can drag and drop. Much better. And we'll go ahead and throw down a couple of signals uh, on this track here. And, oh, got a bit of a graphical glitch on this one. That's, uh, that's unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure we can ignore that. Uh, in fact, just to avoid having to ignore it altogether, we can just, oh, there we go, problem solved, problem solved. See, no, no glitches, no, no graphical problems, no, no, no whoopsies. Everything is hunky-dory. Uh, so now we accepted the trial of the BR-75, so we should probably go ahead and build one of those. And, uh, and let's go with a slightly longer train. Uh, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wagons. Let's see how that does for starters. We don't wanna, don't wanna overload him. Uh, so he can start with a grain train down to the factory here and just belong to that depot for argument's sake. And then we'll go again. And this time we will need the goods van because we're gonna be transporting the livestock. Uh, so you, sir, refit with livestock and you can share his orders there. Good stuff. So that'll get, uh, that'll get our farm goods coming into the factory along with the steel. So you can imagine that this is some sort of canned soup factory you know, so we've got the steel coming in to make cans. We've got the, you know, the, the grain coming in to make grain related food products, possibly cereal. And then we've got the livestock coming in to make steak because steak is delicious. Uh, and already we have a log jam forming down at the depot here. Uh, obviously our trains are coming in for their mandatory service because we've got breakdowns turned on. Uh, now you, sir, are the steel train going back, aren't you? Yes, you are, good. How are we going for steel up here at the, uh, the old steel mill too? 72 tons with another load of iron ore coming in, and you carry 75 tons. Okay, so we're already uh, doing quite well in terms of steel production. Uh, so how are you doing down here? That's a lot of coal. We, uh, we probably need to escalate things down at the old coal mine here. Uh, this is one thing I don't like about the default industries is they can rapidly get away from themselves in terms of production. On one hand, it means you can have these monster trains running, you know, you can haul big tons of coal. But on the other hand, it does make the game a little bit too easy because it's just very easy to just set up a massive coal line and just profit. Uh, you know. uh, now, it probably is a good idea to just go ahead and double track this while we've got the money. In fact, we don't have the money. Um, well, we do now. But just... Yeah, the more we can keep our early trains moving, like our iron ore and steel trains, the better position we're gonna be in. So we may as well double track this now and just get it over over and done with. Uh, oh, coal has now decreased. Oh dear, 
I guess we're not transporting enough. We're, uh, we're down to 28% transported. So the mine will stop outputting coal to, to sort of try and keep pace with our, uh, our transportation levels. So it is in our best interest to either let them do that or start moving more coal to try and, uh, try and keep production up. So what I'm thinking, now that we've got the BR-75, we can actually start replacing the BR-92s. Now, they're only new engines, so there's no point in selling them. So I'm thinking we double up down here and we start running more trains on this line here. So we'll move over to a row row station uh, design down here. What am I doing straight track for? No one wants straight track. Uh, we'll build a, ooh, there's a new sawmill under construction near Osnabrück. Osnab Osnabrück? That town, yes, uh, it's, this, is, this is gonna be a, a thing. There's gonna be some awful, awful pronunciation uh, as we go to the future. So we'll move to a row row design here, and obviously we'll move to a row row design here. Row row, of course, meaning roll on, roll off. Uh, so, you know, just for, just for those who haven't really been too familiar with the old transport tycoon terminology, uh, that was always a, uh, a strategy for getting as many trains to a station as possible uh, before we sort of had path-based signaling like we're using up here and even then it's it's still better to not have trains crossing each other's paths if possible uh, so we want the loaded trains to come out a quick way so we'll go ahead and drop that signal down there and hopefully this bloke here coming up gets the message and knows which way to go otherwise we in trouble Okay, what you doing there, fella? You gonna 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 turn right, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he turned right. He knows what he's doing. He's he knows the score. And then again down here, uh, let's see. We've got the depot there. We can probably replace that. Uh, we'll put in a new depot over here. And then of course we'll have to switch his orders over. Uh, so you no longer service at that one. You service at that one. Whoops, closed too much. Uh, oop, oop, coal production has decreased again. Yes, we really need to make a move on uh, sending more trains down here. So yeah, again, we want the trains to be coming in this way, I think, uh, keep right. Yes, we want the outbound trains going that way. This is, this is fine, uh, this is good. And then obviously we need to make sure he keeps going. So we need to put the one-way signal in there so that he can't reverse, because otherwise he'll come in and just decide the quickest path is to go back the way he came. Uh, so, oh no, train one is lost. Oh, we've, we've broken him. Uh, so we'll just reverse and reverse again, and hopefully he should recalculate where he wants to go. Uh, he's probably drawn a path in here. We've put this signal in and confused him, so he's drawn a path here. Nope, can't do that, so he's just confused. Uh, but yeah, so once we've done that, uh, we, can, we can now move towards a sort of a double track arrangement. In fact, I put that depot on the wrong spot because I wanted to double track this way, didn't I? Amateur hour. Amateur hour completely. Although, you know, what did you expect? It's, uh, it's pretty much par for the course for this channel. So there we go. We've moved over back to a new depot yet again. Now we'll get rid of the extra track here. And then we want to double track this line completely now that we've built our row row stations because I'm going to replace all the BR92s on the iron ore and steel lines. And then I'm going to send them down here. Uh, which will mean, no, don't hold Katarl, you're just going to make a mess. So now let's see which track you pick before I go start ripping track out. What you, what you thinking? No, you, you're going the right way. Uh, and of course I will need to put a new depot down again because I just realised the outbound track is on this side, not this side. I'll figure it out eventually, don't worry. Uh, so we'll drop another depot there. I know we're spending all of our money on depots at the moment. Uh, it's just one of those expenses that you can't get away from. Well, you can get away from it by being competent, but, well, you know, you didn't come here to watch competent gameplay. Uh, can't demolish that yet. We haven't fixed his orders up. Uh, so for the third time, we'll swap your depot over, and we will just sneaky get rid of this. And, whoops, nope, bulldoze some land we didn't mean to. Sorry, sorry, nature. Nature's probably got the shits with us. Uh, and then put the signal down there. Good, okay, yes. Uh, now we need some random signals along here. R random signals. We need some need some signals to split up our trains. Now get, get it in the right spot, dummy. Uh, there we go. And we can probably squeeze another one down here. Now we are going to need a short bit of track connecting the coal mine up to the depot up here, just so we can swap our trains over. Uh, so we've got a set of points here. 
build it down like this, down here. And of course we can always repurpose this line when we want to double track uh, and run more iron ore trains. But yeah, we will have a little branch coming down here and that connects up perfectly. And then we'll just have to put in a couple of signals like this. Oh, there's that little white line again. I guess we're just gonna have to live with it. Uh, that's just that's just one of those things we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, so that's good. So we can now move to replace the iron ore locos with BR75s and then send the 92s down to the coal line. So what I'm looking for, that's 29 grand. So 53, yep, yeah, we can get away with that. And one, two, three, four, five, six. No, nope, okay, run out of money. That's fine, it's fine. We've got a bottomless loan, you know, until we don't. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, now we've got the BR38 as well. Oh, it's all happening. Gonna knock him back for now. Uh, gonna, gonna just stick with the 75 because we, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, so if you could copy without sharing his orders, please. And we've refitted you for iron ore. Yes, you're okay. Uh, so because you've copied without sharing, uh, I can now just, you know, once you've unloaded, I can get you to copy his orders and then we'll just send you to a depot to be refitted back to coal. Uh, so we need, to, we need to keep you open. And then the same thing, we need to clone this train here because we'll need a second one. And we will need him to, where's the other iron ore train naft off to? Do, do, do. There he is. Uh, so copy, don't share, uh, and send you off. And as this one's coming back, we can just send him straight to the depot and refit him to coal. And look at that, here comes one of our grain trains. Uh, notice our lazy station staff only bothered putting tarpaulins over half the, half the wagons. So if it rains, we're gonna have soggy wheat picks but he is now gonna come across in here and hopefully make us a good bit of coin. Oh, he's already made a delivery of grain, we just missed it. Uh, we're, we're, we're paying attention, that's fine. So he is now making his way into the factory. Dun, 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 dun. And hopefully we'll get a good payoff there. Because uh, the sooner we can pay our loan down, the happier I will be. Good, unload, unload, unload. Boom, 18 grand, that is, uh, that is money in the bank. And here comes an iron ore train, uh, not an iron ore train, what are you? You're a livestock train. Here comes a livestock train as well for another good payday. Uh, so they seem to be working quite well in tandem. And we got a new coal mine at miles away from where we are, so we don't have to worry about that. But nice to know we've got some primary industry starting up, looking at you last game, because uh, that did not go our way. So you're about to unload, uh, we'll refit you to coal. And we'll go ahead and send you, uh, delete your orders there, send you down to join this fella, to join this fella. There you go, second time's a charm. So that will increase our profit on the coal line down here. And we've built a new train where it counts for the iron ore train. Uh, so this is something I like to do where possible is I like to divert older trains down to other lines rather than selling them and rebuying them because obviously you just lose money there. Uh, so now this chap's heading for the depot for a service, so we'll send him in there to refit and also send him down to the coal line. Uh, so we're doing quite well on grain and livestock production, so we can probably do with a second train up there as well. You can, you can see how very quickly the early industries can get away from you in terms of production, and we haven't even started setting up our passenger network, and it's already 1923. So we've got our work cut out for us. We, we are gonna to have to be making a lot of early money because we're gonna to have to build fast to ensure we can connect up the whole map by 2021. Because as you can see, we've got a lot of towns and some sort of inland sea. Uh, and I, I really would like to stick to my stated goal of having everything interconnected by 2021 or preferably by 2001 so we can just spend the, the last 20 years of the game fine tuning and and really, you know, working out the kinks that are sure to pop up as we populate the network. Uh, again, this might not be a permanent setup. Uh, the steel mill will probably be a permanent fixture because of the proximity of the iron ore mines, but we may move away from this factory just because this junction here is already getting busy. And as we expand the size of the station, yeah, we might be looking at uh, moving to a new factory across the map. Uh, so you, sir, refit to coal, please. Uh, delete those orders there. And if you could come down and join this party down here. Oh, new sawmill under construction near Season. That one I can pronounce. Good, so we now have three coal trains running. Uh, what, two iron ore trains running, a grain train, in which no one's bothered to put a tarpaulin over any of those wagons. 
uh, a livestock train and a steel train. And the steel train is making good money. Who's, who's our best performer uh, profit last year? Uh, so it looks like it's our coal train. He is making great money. So I think we've made the right call by sending another couple of trains down there to help. Yeah, he's still got 355 tons of coal waiting at the station. So I don't even think we'll make much of a dent in that at all. Uh, don't really have any early passengers we can connect up to the current network. So we'll probably have to build a separate passenger network for that and uh, and see where that takes us. Uh, so yeah, to finish up today, I'll probably end up connecting Utesen uh, with Hamburg. Uh, but yeah, we haven't put our uh, headquarters down yet. So we might, we might just headquarter ourselves in Utesen. Utesen? in our feeder scene because you know that's uh, sort of where we started our network i guess it was it was always going to be our feeder scene or or Dusen, uh, the, the teuton burger and yeah and what other towns do we have in here hamburg well, we don't really have any stations in the hamburg local area so they probably don't know we exist no they don't and i'm fine with that uh i just realized we haven't had the trees turned on yes we can probably turn the trees on until they become too much and start clogging the screen up and i can't see what i'm building because you know, that is an inevitable point that every game comes to. Now, if we're going to be connecting up Utesen, we want to connect it up with the, the Burger Town and Hamburg. So we probably want the station on the northern side of town. Do we really want... I don't think we really need to transport anything south out of Utesen. Because we're going to eventually come up here. Uh, and yeah, that's probably going to be it. Unless we eventually have a line running right down the coast here. But yeah, short term, I want to connect the towns up with each other and then sort of worry about branching routes and, and yada 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 as we go uh so yeah we'll, we'll finish today we'll connect up hamburg and just just have a nice little little, little passenger net passenger network we'll have a passenger network i don't know what a passenger is but i know i want several of them uh yeah so we want to have a, a nice little station here uh, we'll just stick with a generic roof design there because well that's pretty basic uh, I will put a little bit of track in here just to stop the town building a level crossing out there and uh, and, and sort of engulfing our station too early because I, I you know, obviously we're going to need to expand that station as we move forward. Uh, now, rather disturbingly, we have a bit of a river in the way. So, yeah, we can either build a, a bridge sort of across here, which is probably going to cost us a mint. Uh, one second. That, that's worth 100,000 Deutschmarks. Okay. It's probably a bit more expensive than I'd like. Uh, or we have to build sort of an awkward little bridge over this river here. Hmm. Either way, not great prospects. Uh, how much would it cost to bulldoze the river? 220. Okay, so the bridge is probably cheaper. Because I was thinking, you know, for realism's sake, we would uh, we'd build a canal down here, which is 16. But yeah, the, the actual art of bulldozing the river would cost a fortune. Uh, so let's have a look. What if we put a bridge in here? Yes, that is the 100,000 we, uh, we initially looked at. Okay. Um, funnily enough, the viaduct, which is slower, actually costs more. Hmm. Uh, look, let's go with the cheap option. Let's go with the steel suspension bridge. That is a fancy looking bridge. I don't know why that didn't cost a lot of money. Because, yeah, well, you know, that, that just, uh, yeah, that's half the price of the cantilever bridge. And when we get faster trains, we can always, we can always upgrade it later. Uh, that has made a big dent in the old budget, though. We're down to, uh, yeah, down to about 26 grand. And that was only because someone someone just cashed in. Uh, so Hamburg, uh, are you a city? No. How about Hem, Hemmor? No. And I forgot to check on Utesen. Uh, you are not a city either. Okay, that's okay then. Uh, I'm just wary because the cities in the last game became absolute monster metropolises because I think you're a city. Okay, so you will have to keep an eye on. You're probably going to be one of our hubs. Uh, in fact, I'd, I'd probably actually divert up there, remembering that's a city. But I've already gone and built this honking great big bridge. So, yeah, what do you do? Uh, in fact, we've probably got a couple of towns together down here. Do we want to share a station? Or we want to have two separates? No, we we'll probably get away with two separate stations. What I would like to do is actually have a bit of a raised station in Hamburg. So we can just sort of go above the town, over the river, and then down into Hemmore that way. Although building a station hem is going to be a pain in the proverbial. Yeah. It's going to be a pain in the hem wall, really. Because, yeah, we've sort of got this little lake here. We've got the, the ocean. Yeah, that is the ocean. Yes, on this side, or some sort of inlet, cove. Yeah, so building a station in hem is going to be a pain in the 
Yeah, him more, as I said. Uh, so what if what if we get rid of that? Just just that one tile there. And what if we uh, sort of drag a bit of land up here? I I know. Bear bear with me. I've got I've got things in mind. Uh, we want to put that up like that, and that up like that. Okay. And then I'm going to buy all the land just to stop the town sort of developing it. Uh, and then we'll do, actually, let's have a look. If we put a station in here, uh, yeah, because I need, if we're putting bridges in here, we need a blank tile here for signals to help space our trains apart. So we want to have a three tile station in about here. There we go. Good. Uh, unfortunately, that means we can't get the road under our railway line here. But we've got the we've got the road going this way, so that's okay. Uh, so we'll put track there, and then of course we will buy up just to make sure. Uh, and there we go. We've got this nice little elevated railway, and that cost me a fortune because I accidentally bought a bit of coast, uh, which is basically the same as bulldozing it. So whoops, that's my bad. Uh, now to get to this point around this little lake thing here, we're gonna have to have a bit of a corner here, uh, and then we're just gonna have to sort of double back on ourselves a bit, a bit of a dog leg here and then bring this around like that now can we line that up i think so i think that lines up perfect nailed it got it first go i am a genius uh, so eventually i see this as being some sort of metropolitan railway uh sort of a suburban line coming out from that town and then eventually we can have our long distance trains maybe even bypass hamburg or have a new station on this side of town uh, and, and do something like that and then, of course, we need to connect up Hem Hemmore as well, somehow. Uh, are we going to go from Hemmore further on? We might end up at Butthole, no? Buxterhude. Oh, and that's a city as well. Of course it is. So the, the city in the middle of nowhere is, it, well, the town in the middle of nowhere actually happens to be a city as well. That's going to complicate things. Uh, so now that we've had our line come through Hamburg, where are we going to put a station up? I just, I'm really struggling to find the, the real estate we need for a, a larger station, uh, unless we end up just bulldozing a big chunk of this river here, but it's quite an extensive river system, so that's not gonna be cheap either. Hmm, okay. So, we can have a little terminus in here and just run the trains uh, between, say, here and here, and then have people somehow interchange to get to Hemmore. Uh, possibly with a new Hamburg station here and maybe a tram network or something. That might be how we have to do things. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll start off like that. And when we get the money, we might be able to just bulldoze this whole area or, or raise some uh, some land out of the sea here. I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll go with a, we'll give people a bit of shelter to stand under and we'll put a couple of tiles of uh, benches in for people to sit down. And then we'll go ahead and connect up with a couple of nice little viaducts. That looks kind of pretty. I uh, probably could have just built one big long viaduct, but I like it having the, the little breaks for the road and the river there. Uh, drop this down like this. No, hang on. No, we've got another bit of road here. We can uh, we can build another viaduct. Keep it keep it elevated. Keep it looking really fancy. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Uh, drop this down here, and then run this down into Hemmore Station there. Uh, and again, I will be buying this land here just because I'm figuring we're gonna be demolishing something around here. We might put the second track in there, we might put it in here, I'm not sure. It depends on how the town grows. Uh, I will need a depot. I will need money for a depot. Borrow the loan back up. Thankfully, we paid a bit of it off. Uh, but yeah, so we've actually connected up three towns to start with and we'll just run a little passenger train between them. Uh, in fact, do we have the BR38 available yet? No, so we'll go to 75. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so 1920, 1921, the, the 22. Well, it's 1923 now. You'd think the, the 38 had come out by now. I think it comes out in 22. Oh, well, we can always come back and replace the 75 with a, the with a 38 later. Uh, so we'll go with one, two, three, and we'll have a mail carriage for now. But as I said before, I do want to set up dedicated mail platforms uh, along the way as well. Uh, so you can go all the way up to Utterson or you, you, you no, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. Uh, and we've got to remember the shoehorn a depot in there as well. Uh, so if you go there, Sunshine, go forth and make us some passenger related coin. And yeah, we'll fix, oh, new coal mine under construction in no, no, nowhere near we are. Well, actually not that far away. 
uh, and it is conveniently close to a power station and another power station and another coal mine. So we might have uh, we might have a lot of expansion interest in this area if we can if we can run our network over here, uh, hook in a couple of more coal mines. Uh, oh, here we go. We've we've just invented the. Of course we have. Yeah, that's that's just good timing on my part. And look at that. We've got a fair bit of coin in the bank. We can actually pay the loan down again, which is good because this thing is going to run at a loss for the first couple of years. Uh, but look, I think that's more than enough to get us started. I think we've got the start of something good. Uh, we've already built our first junction, and inevitably that's going to start causing log jams in the next few years. So we'll have to rebuild the junction. Uh, you know, we've got our first successful coal line going. So how are you guys all doing? You're all making good money. 43, 44, 44. Yeah, we're going to have this loan paid down in no time. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of our trains are currently making a profit except the passenger train. And I would like to keep it that way. Everyone's averaging nearly 50,000 Deutschmarks a year, which is great news moving forward. Uh, but yeah, so until next time, I've been Teenick. This has been Open TTD with the DB Set uh, XL, DB Set XL rather. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I've enjoyed having your company, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Later days. Have you made money yet? You, you just, no, I'm still, still losing money. That's that's okay. Next week, next week you'll. you'll...